Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show on another uh, fantastic uh, AI tool in Canva called Reshape. With this application, we can create our own uh, mockups. I know this picture was not perfect at that, but I do not uh, spend so much time on it. If I spend maybe one more minute, that will be even better. And we can have this distort, skew, perspective and warp uh, images with this application but I think the most use will be this distort but before we dive into the tutorial I have a quick favor to ask if you like my uh, content and find it valuable please take a moment to hit that small like button and subscribe to my channel as it really helps to keep creating content for you thanks and now let's get started so I already added uh, another pictures to show how this uh, application is working. So you go into the apps, searching for reshape. This is the application. And here you can see there is the four uh, different uh, version, the distort, the skew, perspective and the warp. First, I will show you this, this three, the skew, the perspective and the warp. And the last, but not least, I will show you the distort, which is for me the best part of this application. So just selecting the, the image, what will that modify? In this case, you can see the old four is became active. Just click on the skew. Here we can do shows with this we can do some settings, but this is not true. But here mention drag the points to transfer the image. So I just uh, moving them. The only issue with this queue is the the frame of the image is the kind of border, so we cannot move uh, the image outside of the original border of the 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 picture. And those part, that part, which is outside, this will be cut. And just click on save. And uh, this is this the, the, this is the skew image. If I'm going to the next one and changing to perspective, here the same. Drag the points to transfer the image. will be the same so but doing a bit better than the skew this perspective is a bit better but also as you can see we can create this uh, perspective view but still the outside of the the original frame of the image will be cut so just click on save scrolling down to the third one which would have warp Here we can do again the same, but as you can see, we can do one by one the points. If you also if you are moving it, the the part which is outside of the frame that will be also cut. But we can use we can do uh, lots of nice tricks if we just a bit uh, changing the size lowering the size and uh, its fit inside the original frame. We can uh, do a really nice transformation. So just click on save. And here I just increase the size of the, uh, the picture, just zooming it. That will be the same as the others. We cannot move outside of the of the original frame of the image, what we are transforming. But so if I so I would like to move into the to the billboard, so I just have to cover the billboard with the with my picture. And now go to the click on the distort, and I can click on the any of the corners and move them where I want here also I 
I think now it's good. And just click on save. And now we are created our own uh, own mockup. So if if we need to move a picture to somewhere, like to a screen or a billboard or a magazine, and uh, okay, now I know even we can create our own mockups in the in the, in the mockup uh, application. But it's not always not working always perfectly, and this is a really good. Uh, and actually, this is a free tool to do the same when we would like to do a, our own mockup in the mockup app that works only for the pro version, not for the free. But this application is working also for the free users. So this uh, and we can do really nice, really realistic mockup. And now just one small trick. I go into the transparency and reduce the transparency a bit to To 90 but I think I am yeah sorry I read the transparency on a wrong <laughs> as you can see you can see the shadow it's here so if I just uh, read the transparency a bit like to 80. Now it's a bit more realistic already, but the problem is the shadows became really visible when the transparency is very low and the image is not so visible, but we have to find uh, somewhere in between the, the perfect transparency where we can still see the image and also we can still see, we can also see the and like you can see the the shadows of the the lights of the beer board. That's so pretty amazing. I really like this uh, this feature. And here in the final outcome, you can see that uh, really looks like this image was made on this uh, was already in the billboard, and then the picture was just done here. So here is the final outcome. I show you for of for the for options. I think this 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 torch will be the most used one. That's really amazing, as you can see in the final outcome. This on this uh, image. So I really like it. Hope so. You also like it. And if you really like the tutorial, please do not forget to hit that small like button. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section if you find any difficulties in a Canva or with any other AI tools I try to answer as soon as possible. Please also visit my Facebook page. You can find the link in the description where you can find uh, lots of uh, Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from other Canva experts. Also, you can find uh, lots of uh, AI tutorials plus a bunch of text to image generation uh, prompts for different kind of applications. So if you're also interested on in this uh, area, feel free to visit my Facebook page and, uh, and check my images. But now this tutorial is really going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.